How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer Section bringing you another review, and today I'm covering Astro Bot for the PlayStation 5. Astro and his crew are flying out in space in their PS5 style ship until they got attacked by their main antagonist. Space Bully nevertheless cracks their ship open like an egg and steals the key component, while the rest of the ship is being scattered into pieces. Then now it's up to Astro to rescue everyone from the evil Nebulax. Visually, Astro Bot looks amazing from his character models down to his level designs. You will feel immersed in Astro's world once you start playing this. Right off, the system's performer runs great at 60 frames per second with smooth animation throughout the game. The character models are well detailed plus high, saying how he interacts with his fellow comrades. The 3D environments will blow you away and you can see how the horsepower of the PS5 are making things pop with this great color scheme. Like for example, when Astro jumps in the water, you can see how the water flows, it's breathtaking. And as for the cutscene, it flushes out the plot and takes references from movies like Star Wars. The audio is hidden on all cylinders, not just on screen, but also on the DualSense controller as well. The music is alright, but for a game like this, it fits its style, but, but with this many levels, you know, have their own theme. I commend the devs for the work that they've done and their effort is shown here. Astrobot is a 3D platformer that boasts 50 levels broken up into different worlds, plus the desert planet is its main base. The controls here are great and doesn't disappoint on what Astro can do. As usual, the right analog stick controls the camera and you can rotate it to see the more of the level around you, which comes in handy on him finding secret items. Throughout the levels, he can collect coins as well as attack enemies. The main objective is to rescue his friends scattered everywhere, basically look, looking at every nook and cranny not to miss anything before completing the level. Another cool aspect is using the dual sun control to guide Astro on a custom control, plus him gaining new abilities depending on the level that he's on. There is a boss battle and it's best to strategize on how to beat them. The replay value is excellent because you can you know, times you will miss up to the first time and you want to go back and sweep and clean and miss anything if you want to be a completionist. Overall, I enjoyed the gameplay of Astro Bot and again, big up to the devs. Even though Astrobot is great, but it's not without its issues. If you're not a completionist, then this game is short, but it doesn't hurt the game experience overall. Astrobot is a great game if you enjoy this previous adventure. I give Astrobot a 5 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel.